All right, don't blow up. All right, so it's been a few days. Uh, I took the entire engine apart and put in the new DHM high compression piston and I'm out on my maiden voyage to work right now to see if I blow it up or not. It's about, it's trying to keep it under about six, seven thousand RPM if I can. Hopefully I don't piss too many people off. Just trying to break the engine in nice and easy. I'm in fourth gear just cruising at 5,000, able to pick up the speed at any time I want. Yeah, excuse you. Yeah, so it's a nice enough day out. I figured I need to try and get some break-in miles on it. I've got two miles on it so far. Wow. It sounds okay-ish, I think. Maybe. Excuse me. I'm just gonna sneak through here. There we go. Yeah, so hopefully Hopefully it's good. I'm tired of uh, being the slow grom. I mean, it still was pretty fast with just the stage two. I just had the cam in it before and uh, had to put this piston in because it just takes away all the bottom end. It's just a turd. Anything below 6,000 RPM, it was just like, it felt like it was almost bogging, like, but I know it wasn't. Oop, 8,000, my bad. So I think I started this on Tuesday. It is now f Thursday. No, yes, Monday night. It was my birthday. I started on my birthday, um, took it apart after I went on a ride with my buddy. There you go. And thought I was gonna do it like that night. And it ended up taking another day just to get the gasket off because I left it out there. It was freezing cold. I also didn't know gasket maker or gasket remover existed. So I was there with an X-Acto knife for like an hour and a blowtorch, just heating up the gasket so it would separate from the middle a little bit and I could just peel it off without it just tearing it. And if I hadn't have done that, I probably could have just done it in the two days that I had set apart. I was also doing this really late at night both times and in my buddy's garage. So I kind of had to wait for him to be ready while at the same time not making myself lose too much sleep because I was going back to work. Oh, that felt good. The power is definitely noticeable. Like, oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, she's a hater. Wow. Drinking a hater aid. And then I had some problems with my valves. I didn't know how to check my valves. I was, I'm not even going to tell you what I was doing, but I was doing it wrong. I figured it out after uh, some helpful uh, YouTube clips from Photogrammer. So now I just uh, got it put together today and got my valves all adjusted, filled it back up with oil. And plugged in my computer to the power commander. I took all the ignition timing out. It's running pretty damn good. My buddy said that it probably wouldn't start without messing with the idle, but it's it's starting and running just fine. It's cruising, no problem. Yeah, in fourth gear before I would not gain speed. Like at this RPM right here, like five to six thousand. The RPMs wouldn't go up when I gave it full throttle. It would just sit there. Now it's actually like picking up speed. And that's with only less than five miles on it. So I can't wait to see like when I'm broken in and I'm riding this thing like I stole it, how it will perform. But right now, so far, I'm very impressed with it. And I'm a little bit proud of myself that the engines even carried me at all with my work being inside of it. <laughs> I did it all on my own with the uh, help of YouTube and my buddy's garage which is getting sicker by the day. He put, uh, he's got, what the fuck? That's a Gambler 500 something. I never did anything like this when I was a kid. Like I was playing with Legos and stuff, but Legos that didn't move or have uh, fluids in them. And I didn't file down any of the Legos to make the gaps fit for the other Legos. So, just sitting here riding something that I took apart and put back together, it's 
pretty awesome. It's a pretty good feeling. I also put the uh, the decibel killer back in my exhaust, so it's not as loud, and I'm liking it. Just able to cruise around and not feel like I'm bothering anybody. I mean, it still sounds better than the stock exhaust for sure, but it just gives me a little bit better of a feeling. I also get off work late at night, and it's I don't like being rude and waking people up. People got kids, and I got kids. I don't like when they're woken up. So, oh, don't pull out! Don't pull out, guy. I'm watching you. I actually just lost uh, one of my regulars at work uh, the other day. Day after my birthday, I believe, is when it happened. Uh, he's on his Harley. He, he was just cruising, I guess. Car pulled out in front of him, and he didn't make it. He's a good dude. I've known him for like four years. It's really sad. He was a father and a husband, and just gotten his bike. It was a really nice, brand new Harley. He loved that thing. And we talked about bikes together all the time. It's really a bummer he's gone. Oh, perfect! I get to follow the mail truck to work. They don't go too fast. Not smoking that I can tell not making any noises there's a lot of smoke in the air I think backyard burnings finally open it's the first day of it we had those uh, those wildfires and uh, a lot of people got evacuated my work had to shut down because of it the fires were so close people were worried about waiting too long and not being able to get out in time so Van behind me is probably mad, but not my problem. I got an engine to break in, guy. I don't even know how long I'm supposed to go. I'm guessing like probably a hundred miles or so for the rings to properly set on the piston, and make sure everything's happy and lubricated. That's another thing is I almost forgot to uh, swap out my oil pump. I have the straight up pump, so it has a pickup on the back of the pump. So that when you're doing a wheelie, all your oil in your engine sloshes to the back and sits in the bottom of your case, or in the bottom of your engine. And it just, the copper tube comes out of the oil pump and it sucks up that oil and it squirts it. So instead of not having any oil where the pump is up here, you have the tube coming out to the back where there's always oil, even if you're riding flat or up. And that allows you to keep your piston nice and oiled so that you don't blow your top end up. God, that guy's like riding my ass. Um, and you got to take that out when you do the uh, high compression piston, I guess. I don't know why exactly. I would think it's still sucking in oil, but maybe there's something in play that I'm not thinking of. There must be, but uh, yeah, I mean, so far. She seems to be running great. I'm really excited to uh, put some miles on this thing and see how fast it can go. Maybe throw it on the dyno once it's all done. See my gains. But that's probably gonna wrap it up for today. I'm almost to work, I didn't blow up my engine. So I think that's a, it's a win probably give my thoughts again later on the piston after I've had some miles to enjoy it and it's broken in and everything but until then thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more sonic new thanks a lot